Hi there, this is Maher Haddad here. So in uh, this uh, first lecture, I'm going to show you what is the best way to be able to block YouTube traffic. In case you are in a company, for example, and you don't want your employees to open YouTube while they are in the office hours. So how we can do that? Actually, a lot of people have tried to do some configurations and it ends up not only blocking YouTube, but also blocking all Google services like google.com, Maps uh, for Google, uh, any other uh, Google services like Gmail is going to be blocked, of course, with the YouTube uh, traffic. So in uh, this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can specifically just block YouTube and not other Google uh, features or Google services, because as we know that YouTube and Google they are on the same server. So if we block YouTube, we may ending up blocking also the Google services. So how we can do that, that's something I'm going to show to you in this lab. Let's go directly and start with the work. So I have this scenario. I do have here my MicroTech router. So this is my MicroTech router connected on the interface Ethernet 1 to the internet. And I have my computer, which is connected to the interface Ethernet 2 of the MicroTech router. I have already configured the MicroTech router to distribute internet. So then this computer is able to go to the internet via this MicroTech router. Now I want to block YouTube for this computer. Normally what people do, they collect all the servers of Google, which are also the servers for YouTube, because YouTube is a service from Google. So they just get all the servers of Google, and what they do, they say anyone trying to go to those servers, then block it. That's what you do and on the firewall rule. But you end up also blocking google.com, blocking uh, Google Play Store, blocking uh, Google Maps and so forth. So this is not an efficient way. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the DNS, which is uh, uh, the DNS on the MicroTik router. So actually this MicroTik router is becoming a DNS forwarder for this computer, meaning this computer when he wants to go to the internet then he has to use this DNS of this MicroTik router and this MicroTik router which will forward the DNS request to a DNS server which is on the internet. But as it is the DNS server of those internal PCs, then I'm going to apply some uh, security there to say that anyone who's trying to go to YouTube then send all the IPs of YouTube inside an address list and only specifically for YouTube. And then after that, I apply a filter rule. I say anyone trying to go to those IP addresses, which are inside the uh, address list, uh, for YouTube servers, then in this case, just block them. So this is what we're going to do in this lab. Let's go now to the points and start doing them. Point number one, check that your PC is connected to the internet via the MicroTik router and that the DNS is the MicroTik IP. So before we do that, let me just show you what I've done on this MicroTik router. It's just very simple. I have enabled the HTTP client on interface Ethernet 1. So this router has internet. Then I have put an IP address on the bridge. The bridge contains all the ports, but not the port of Ethernet 1. And uh, after I put an IP address on the bridge, I enable the HTTP server. So you can see this is the HTTP and the DNS is the IP of the MicroTik router. And of course, we have enabled here the NAT. We made the uh, NAT rule to say anything going out from interface Ethernet 1 action is masquerade. That's what I have uh, done. Now, if I go to the computer and I make uh, the command line open. So now if I say IP config slash all, we can see that I have only one interface and this interface has gotten from the MicroTik this IP. This is the gateway, this is the DHCP server, and most important, this is the DNS. So the DNS should be the MicroTik router. And of course, on the MicroTik, when you say that it's going to be the DNS forwarder, meaning that you need to enable it. So you have to say here, allow remote request. So then the DNS request come from the computer to the MicroTik router. The MicroTik router can do for them the caching here, as you can see, and then they will send them to the DNS that he got from the ISP. So in my case, you send them to those DNS. Now to check that the computer is connected to the internet, we can just easily go back to the command 
prompt and say for example ping google.com then we check if everything is working the dns and the route and everything so we have a reply so everything looks fine point number one is done point number two we have to create a dns static entry with name google video.com type forward and then we have to check the subdomain and add the address list to tube. So as the MyCritic router is our DNS server for our internal computer. So let me just put the picture. You can see that. Perfect. So then I have to go to the IP DNS over here and I will create a static one. And then I will say, okay, anything. The name is Google Video.com. So um, then I have to say forward it to the sub uh, match the subdomain. So any uh, traffic going to Google videos, meaning to YouTube, then forward those subdomains, which are the ones normally for YouTube, and put them inside an address list. And we call it YouTube.com. Yeah. So that's what this means. Normally, in the previous uh, version of Microtech, now I'm using version 7.19.2. In the previous versions, if we do that on this uh, level, it doesn't work. We have to do it only on the command prompt, which doesn't have any meaning why it only works on the command line and not from Winbox. But I have tried it on Winbox on the newest version, and it's working. So this is what you need to do. Googlevideo.com type is forward. You have many forward, uh, types of DNS. You can see them. We have to forward everything going to the uh, subdomains of googlevideo.com and send them to an address. Just we call it YouTube and not youtube.com. And then I will say here, okay, point number two is done. Point number three, open YouTube on your PC. Do you see the IP addresses of YouTube servers inside the address list? Perfect. So I'm going to go now to the browser. This is my browser. And I'm going to go to YouTube.com. So this is YouTube.com. It's opening. And now what I'm going to do is just to go to the um, to the uh, IP firewall and address list. And here we go. You can see once I opened YouTube.com, we have many servers opened. All right. So you can see that. Let me just clear everything because there are some which are old. I'll just do it from the beginning. So I will go to the browser again and I will write youtube.com just to issue a new session. And now let's go to the um, to the address list. Here we go. So it has collected one um, subdomain. So we can do that, keep everything open and do that uh, uh, to collect all those servers. But it doesn't really uh, matter if you just go directly now and do a firewall rule to block them. So I'm going to show you that in the upcoming point. Point number three is done. Point number four, now make a firewall rule to block traffic on the YouTube servers on uh, the address list and test if it's working. Before I do that, let me just show you if I go to, let's go to any uh, video we will see that uh, the videos will be working. So let's say this one. So you can see the video is working. Perfect. Now I'll go back and I'm going to go to the uh, root. So you can see it has collected many now servers. So I'm going to go back to the uh, uh, Microtech. And then from the Microtech, I have to say here a rule, filter rule, saying anything which is going forward meaning passing via the router going to the internet. So PC router internet. And it's going to the destination address list YouTube. Then I will say drop. As simple as that. So look here for the bytes and packets. Perfect. Now I'll go back here and then I will refresh. And um, we try to go to, let's try to go to this video. So you can see it will keep rolling, 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 and not opening. So if you go to the Microtech router, you can see the bytes and the packets are being increasing. Here the address list, we have captured many new address lists. And yeah, YouTube will not work. But what about Google.com? Google.com. To check if Google.com is going to be working. So it's working without any problem. Uh, what about... Uh, maps.google.com 
Gmail.com, for example, to check the maps. It's working. Um, what else? We have Gmail, for example. All those are services from Google. So we try Gmail and it is working. So only the YouTube is being blocked. So if we try to open another video, you see YouTube is being completely blocked. You can see the videos, but uh, like the uh, picture of them. But if you try to go inside of them to watch the video, it doesn't work. Pond number four is done. And uh, with this pond, I have showed you how you can block the YouTube in a very smart way. So those are the configuration tips that I'm going to show you in uh, this course. Something that you may not see them everywhere. So I have collected all of them and put them in this course to be able to help you on your daily work, some practical tips that you can do on the Microtech router. So I hope that uh, this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.